Have you seen The Last Kingdom yet? Season five came out a few weeks ago and it's especially cool when Uhtred is getting ready to fight in a battle and he reaches back and he pulls out his sword and he's like slow-mo like, <gasps> it's cooler when he does it. Let's roll the tape. Probably didn't have a lot of desserts back then, but they drank a lot of ale. There was honey, they had fruits like apples, oats, wheat, because they made bread. That's what I decided to do today. I'm gonna combine all of those ingredients that they may have had back in 7th century England. Let's figure this out. We're gonna give it a go. I sifted my flour and added my salt. I'm gonna add half a cup of oat flour, and then also I'm gonna add half a cup of regular oats, old-fashioned. And then I'm gonna add one tablespoon of baking powder. I just like to fluff it up in there a little. <coughs> a little too much fluffing. <coughs> Don't fluff that much. All right, now for the wet ingredients. And there's only three things we're using, which is the beer. I'm gonna use Blue Moon, and then we're gonna do honey, of course, because that's what they would have had. Not. And then I'm gonna use one small apple and cut it up in really small pieces. I've got my oven preheating to 375 degrees. I'm gonna start with the honey and I need a quarter of a cup, but I'm just gonna use this because I feel like it might be easier to get the honey out. Oh gosh. I feel like when you squeeze out honey, that's when you know you need to work on your grip strength. Usually I could put like a little spritz of whatever cooking spray you use to help it come out faster, but I forgot so now it's too late. All right. Let's do the beer. This is supposed to be a... Got it. Beer bread's pretty good. I had it one time, literally like maybe eight years ago. Haven't had it since. I don't even like beer, but here we are making a beer bread. The only thing I'm really nervous about with this bread is that the apples are just gonna sink to the bottom. So when you cover fruit with flour, like in cakes and stuff, then it helps them to stay throughout the batter and not just sink to the bottom. But I didn't do that. All right, no matter how much batter this is, I am only going to fill this up halfway so that way it has a better chance to cook all the way through before the outsides burn. Bread it out and it's ready to go in the oven. The bread baked for 45 minutes and then I let it cool in the pan for 15 more minutes. I would do it this way, but I'm afraid I'd cut my head. <laughs> I expected that little bit of moisture around the apples, but the rest of the bread looks pretty good. So I'm gonna spread some butter on mine, maybe a little bit of a drizzle of honey. Right, here's to seventh century beer bread. The bread has a really nice fluffy texture, and then you get that little tiny bit of sweetness there at the end when you bite into one of the apple pieces. You only get a slight hint of that beer flavor, which I kind of like because I don't really like beer. I think I'm gonna keep that recipe around. You can find what I did and the full recipe down in the description box below, and if somebody you know is watching The Last Kingdom, Share this video with them so they can check out this bread too. So YouTube says that you're gonna like this video next, so go ahead and check that out. I'm Amy and I'll see you next time. They probably didn't have baking powder back then, but we're just gonna kind of forget about that fact. That was really good.